Accord was signed on January 3, 1993, Russia and the U.S. reduced their strategic nuclear warheads to between 3,000 and 3,500 warheads each. They completely dismantled all of the ICBMs which contained... The Nuclear Weapons Disposal Facility on Seattle Moses Island was built at the beginning of this century. It was made only to temporarily store the nuclear warheads. Why? If they wanted to dispose of them, why wouldn't they just dismantle them right away? They cannot do that. You see, when you dismantle a warhead, you still have nuclear materials that must be stored. At this point, all of the nuclear material storage facilities are way past capacity. But they could not stop dismantling weapons while at the same time pushing START 2. So you're telling me that this base was built so they could temporarily avoid being in conflict with START 2? Most people think that we live in a safer world now. But with all the dismantled nuclear weapons and waste around, the threat of nuclear terrorism has increased tremendously. It's ironic, isn't it? amplifying light like the night vision goggles. They'll work just as well in complete darkness. Not only that, they can also penetrate optic stealth systems. You will be able to spot claymores too, but they will tire your eyes out, so do not use them too much. Those are stun grenades. They are often used in sensitive operations such as freeing hostages and that sort of thing. Sometimes they are called flash bangs or sound and flash grenades. They make a big flash and lots of noise, which will disorient and disable your opponents temporarily. You have to understand that they won't kill the bad guys, but just stun them for a few seconds. Use them wisely. SOCOM, that's a Special Operations Command pistol. It's a 45 caliber pistol with plenty of stopping power. It's also equipped with a LAM for nighttime combat. If you hold down the weapon button, you can train the laser sight on the enemy to help you aim. If you find a SOCOM suppressor, you can equip that too. That pistol was designed specifically for use by special forces, so I think it will be useful. Some people find it a little heavy and hard to use, but it shouldn't be a problem for you.
is picking up the DARPA chief. He's the green dot. Hurry and rescue him. Ugh, kinda damn cold. I hate Alaska. Boy, oh boy, that woman is built all right. signal is coming from somewhere in that area. Isn't there some place to drop down? Take a look around in first-person view mode. Donald Anderson, right? You're here to save me, huh? What's your outfit? I'm the pawn they sent here to save your worthless butt. Really? It's true. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Sweet Jesus. Is it possible? It's possible. They could launch a nuke. <sighs> How do they plan to launch? I thought this place was just for keeping the dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. What I'm about to tell you is classified information. Okay. We were conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A weapon that will change the world. What? A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the Earth. A nuclear-equipped walking battle tank. Metal Gear. It can't be. You knew? Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How did you know that? We've had a couple of run-ins in the past. So that's the reason you were here at this disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? I had heard the Metal Gear project was scrapped. On the contrary, it's grown into a huge joint project between arms tech and ourselves. 
we were going to use this exercise as raw data and then proceed to mass production. If it hadn't been for the revolution. Revolution? Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex? Metal Gear Rex. The code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. They're probably already finished arming the warhead they plan to use with Rex. These guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping weapons. Hey! Shut up in there, will ya? I thought that all nuclear warheads were equipped with safety measures. Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh, you mean PAL. Yes, of course, there is a PAL. It's set up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords? Yes. Baker knows one, and I know one. Baker? The president of arms tech. That's right. Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. But... They found out my password. You talked. Psychomantis can read people's minds. You can't resist. Psychomantis? One of the members of Foxhound. He has psychic powers. This is bad. It's just a matter of time before they get Baker's too. If they find out Baker's password... Yes, they'll be able to launch a nuke any time. But there is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. Card keys? They were designed by Armstead, the system developers, as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes. You can stop the launch. So where are the keys? Baker should have them. Listen, you need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay, three card keys. Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement? I heard the guards say they moved him to an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes. They cemented over the entrances, but didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Here, take this. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. It's called a pan card. It works together with your body's own electrical field. Personal area network, huh? It transmits data using the salts in your body as the transmission medium. As you approach the door's security devices, they'll read the data stored in the card. And the doors will open automatically. Gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait a minute. What is it? You haven't heard any other way to disarm the pal, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. So does the White House plan to give in to the terrorist demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But what about the Pentagon? Pentagon? What is it? Chief, 
What happened? I... I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but... A heart attack? Oh, no. Colonel, are you hiding something from me? Absolutely not. Snake, you've got to understand. This op is security level red. You need the highest security clearance to get access to the complete file. You want me to believe that you're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? I told you, the Secretary of Defense is in operational control. I'm just here as your support. Snake, we don't have time to debate. Get out of there and find President Baker. You say the DARPA chief is dead? Yeah. According to Naomi, it was a heart attack. It couldn't be. Well, it looks like all you can do now is find Kenneth Baker, the president of Arms Tech. He's in the second floor basement, isn't he? Yeah. On the other side of that wall that was cemented over. Okay. Good luck, Snake. You can do it. They were conducting exercises with this new Metal Gear prototype? Is that what the DARPA chief said? Yeah. What the hell? So you know about Metal Gear? Just rumors. I heard it is some kind of walking tank that can deliver an accurate nuclear strike from any terrain. Mountains, deserts, swamps, wherever. But you are the real expert on Metal Gear, aren't you, Snake? Yeah, I guess I am. But what about the PAL system that the DARPA chief mentioned? It is a device attached to a nuclear weapon system to prevent the missile from being armed or launched. Usually, a secret detonation code or combination is necessary to launch the missile. According to the chief, there are two codes, and the terrorists already know one of them. The other code? If the terrorists find out that one too. Yeah, I've got to hurry and rescue President Baker. PAL stands for Permissive Action Link. It is a safety system attached to nuclear missile systems. The missile cannot be fired without the insertion of a special electronic code. But if the terrorists have found out the detonation codes, they can launch the missiles any time they want. The DAPA chief. Poor man. He has a heart attack right after you save him. I'm getting a bad feeling about this snake. Maybe you should let me save your mission.